Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Ritesh from Sales Handy and today in this video, we're going to talk about that how you can set up DKIM in your DNS. We have also talked about SPF and detail in a separate video. You can find that in our playlist. So before diving in, in the tutorial, how to set up DKIM, let us know a little more about what DKIM is and why it is so important it has a record. So well, let's just understand using an example. If someone has sent you an email claiming to be a brand and you want to verify whether the sender is authenticated and original. So you can just dive into the original message and see whether there are DKIM keys passed or whether they are verified or not. If someone has verified DKIM keys, then definitely the sender is original and you can trust the single. So let's just see how it works. Suppose you have sent an email and uh, So let's just see how it works. So when you send an email to someone with DKIM key, then the ASP, the recipient's ASP checks whether the encrypted key matches the records which are already existing in their DNS, right? So when it matches, then your email is supposed to be sent in the inbox. Otherwise, you'll land in the spam. Therefore, having DKIM improves your chances of delivering into the inbox. Apart from that, your DKIM key is a next level authentication. It prevents you from, you know, spoofing no one can do a fraudulent activity using your domain, using your brand. It increases the trust and increases the reputation among the ESPs, thus resulting in a good deliverability. Now, how you can verify whether DKIM is present in your email, in your technical setup? So, there is a very simple method of verifying this. You just have to jump into your ESP. Like, for example, for me, it's Google Workspace. It might be something different for you. So, you can just jump into the email and for the domain, you want to verify the DKIM. Just go into that email. And from here, from three dotted option, you can just click on show original. And here you can see the DKIM is passed, right? So it means the DKIM is already available in your domain records. So you don't have to worry about that. If it is missing, then we will see how you can set it up in your DNS. Another way how you can verify whether DKIM is present in your domain or uh, in your email or not, you can just visit mailtester.com. And from here, you can verify whether your authentication is sent in DKIM. So let's just copy this and let's just send an email from the particular domain you want to test the DKIM and keep a subject line, anything you want and just test it. Now the mail tester would just analyze the email and give you a score and you can just see here in the authentication section that DKIM signature is valid. So this is also another way you can test whether your domain records contain DKIM or not. If your DKIM is missing, you don't have to worry about. Let's just discuss how you can set up it in your DNS. For the following, we're going to take example of how you can verify your DKIM keys using Zoho Workspace and GoDaddy domains. If you have some another ESP or might be some different domain registrars, you don't have to worry because you can just visit our FAQs and see how you can do it for your particular ESP and domain registrar. So let's just jump into Zoho. And let's just log in into the admin portal. This is Zoho mail here and you have to click over here to access the admin console. Now you have to go into the domain section. Now let's just add a new domain and see how we can verify the records. For that, we also have to open our domain registrar. So let's just open GoDaddy and go into the products. Now for the purpose, I'm just going to use this particular domain. So let's just type in here and add a domain name. Now the domain is added in Zoho. Now the first step is to verify the domain's ownership. So you can do it either two ways. You can just automatically log in into your DNS. It would automatically log in and map your ownership with GoDaddy. So you don't have to do it manually. So let's just see how you can do it manually. So let's just click over here. Now you can see here is a text record that is to be updated in your DNS manager and you have to point it to the value uh, given here, right? So for that, let's just go into the DNS manager of our domain. So just click on this three dots and click on manage DNS. Now it will open you all the DNS management sections. So just add a new record and type txt. Now you have to write at the rate here. And just put it over here and just copy the value from Zoho and paste it over here. And just save it. 
and jump into Zoho again and let's just see whether our records are updated or propagated. Well, the DNS records are updated within minutes, but it may also take up to 48 hours in case it's not updated. So let's just see whether the record is updated and let's just click on verify text record. And our text record is verified. So our domain ownership is verified by Zoho. So let's just proceed. Now the second step is to map your DNS. Here also you have two options. Either you can just log in directly into your GoDaddy, which is one click integration with Zoho and all your records would be automatically verified. You don't have to worry about anything. The another option is to do it manually. So we're going to check how you can do it manually uh, using manual, putting up manual records into GoDaddy's DNS manager. So just click on the configure manual option here. Now you can see here are three records available. The first one is the MX, second is SPF and the third one is a DKIM. We have to manually go copy and paste all the records in DNS of GoDaddy. So let's just start with the MX one, right? Now for that part, you also, have, you are again have to go into the DNS manager here and just copy this MX record and add a new one here. Select type MX and keep it at the rate and set the priority to 10 for the first record, right? And let's just paste this value over here and let's just save it. Now you have to repeat it for two other MX records. So let's just copy the value and keep the priority at 20. So let's just keep MX here and add the rate priority as 20 and just paste the value that we have copied and let's just save it. Now let's let us do it for the third record. Let's just copy the value and we have to keep the priority at 50, right? Now add it over here. Just add MX again, add the rate, keep the priority at 50 and let's just paste the value and save it. Now after we have done the MX, let's just see how we can do it for the SPF value. So let's just click over here. Now, before going ahead with the SPF, ensure one thing that your records do not contain any existing SPF. If it does, just remove it and just paste this fresh one. Let's just copy this one and let's just go in the DNS again and add a new record. And let's just do it for text and keep it at the rate. Keep the value at the rate. And paste this value and save it. Now we have updated our SPF. Now the third record is that we have to do for the S. DKIM. So let's just copy this selector as host and again just jump into the DNS and create a text EXT. Now paste the host as domain key. Now you have to copy this key and paste it in the value. Now save it. Now we have updated all the three records into our GoDaddy DNS manager. Now we have updated all the three records. All we just need to do is to click on this verify button and see whether our records are updated or not. Now except SPF, MX and DKM records are verified by Zoho. So we have to wait for longer for SPF to be updated. So let's just see how much longer does it take. Now all our records are verified and updated. This is how you can set up your DKIM, MX and SPF. And if you have any questions regarding the technical setups or your records are not propagated, you can just reach out to our support team and we are very happy to help you out. Thank you and have a nice day.